For the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Now this nine of cups, it's a great card to get in a reading. It's known as the wish card. It's just short of one cup. Ten of cups. It's short of the ten of one cup. So, you know it's a really good card in the tarot. It's one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to get in a reading. Like I said, it's known as the wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Now this card, it's about happiness, good things to come. It also could mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you ask a yes or no type of question, it's a powerful indicator. It's a very powerful indicator of yes. Very powerful. If you're in a relationship, it's possible that it will deepen, become better, sweeter. And um, it's paired with this Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant, it's, a, it's an interesting card. It could mean that you're searching for the meaning of life when you get this card. Um, you could be considered a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on or asked for advice or help with some important issues or matters, their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support to someone. So, Leo, this could be you or someone coming towards you. Or maybe someone that you know who's really quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher, marked by integrity. This type of person, they're the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly, they're highly admired individuals. This type of person, they walk the walk, talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. And when it comes to love and relationships, and you get the Hierophant in your reading, and you're asking about how your person is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply, and it's a love that cannot be broken. So... Basically, Leo, for the present time, Nine of Cups and the Hierophant. So, towards the end of April, probably going into May, you're going to start to feel really blessed and satisfied with this Nine of Cups. Like I said, it's just short of one cup. So, you're going you're gonna, to... Um, start to feel like the things that you you were wishing or hoping for you're starting to see them come to life yeah and because it's with this hierophant here uh, you'll start to feel more wise picking up yeah you're gonna feel blessed satisfied with a lot of wisdom. Very, you're going to feel like you have a lot a lot more knowledge. And there's no need to be pretentious anymore if that's how you were. Um, you'll start to walk the walk and talk the talk. And people will, will start to admire you. Yeah, and your person, if you're dealing with someone, um, they'll admire you even more now. Because there's a love that cannot be broken. And you're going to start to feel like you, you want to be more true to yourself. Yeah, because cause you're starting to feel more satisfied with, with things overall. Life. The people that you know. Yeah, this Nine of Cups is, is a great card in the tarot. So, like I said, you could start to search for the meaning of life. Because... Things should be going so well for you coming up towards the end of April. So, 
That's a really good thing. Good thing for you. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. They see you like this Nine of Swords, and they also see you as this Lover's card. The Nine of Swords is about guarding against any feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, you might need to take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that could cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that that is where the beauty is. So this is how they see you. One of the ways they see you is this Nine of Swords with some type of hardship. Yeah, some type of hardship. But then it's with this Lover's card here. Now, the Lover's card, it's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So, it's possible that you'll be feeling ambivalent about the relationship or a situation. And it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. The thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart when you get the Lover's card. That's what it's saying. So, this lover's card, it usually means this is a time that's likely to bring love in capital letters to the center stage of your life. This is either a new relationship or it could be a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, it goes. Either way, you'll be really happy about how romance is going. And others will notice how happy you are. How happy and how you're glowing. How happy you are and that you're glowing. It's a serious stuff when you get the lover's card. It could mean a new relationship. Even if it's a new relationship. If you meet someone new where you're meeting each other's families and talking about forever. This lover's card is really powerful when it comes to love. So this is another way that they, your person sees you. This lover's card and the nine of swords. Okay, so basically, with these two cards paired together, it's, it's saying that there's a really strong connection here, or they see, your person sees you as wanting your person sees you as falling in love. Falling in love, and it's scary for you. It's causing you anxiety. Maybe it's your first time that you felt this way about someone. But there's, they see you as, yeah, they see you as, A deep love. There's a union, a coming together. It's a good thing. It's, it's really powerful love here. Um, the, it's the strength of two. Like I said, falling in love and... But it's got this Knight of Swords here. That's what's throwing me off. And it's causing, this deep connection is causing nightmares, anxiety, grief, and even depression. So someone could be afraid of this connection because it's, probably because it's 
someone's never experienced these emotions before. It's a great, it's a deep love. It's bringing love to the center stage of, of their life. And this is how they see you. So this great, wonderful love, Leo, they see you as being maybe um, afraid of it. And um, it's causing you anxiety. So I'm trying to think of another scenario for these two cards in case you, you think this is not how it's going, but another way it could be is that you got if you got a lot of anxiety about this connection because you want you want it to be a deep love. So it could go either way. You could have a, you could be um, facing some grief because you want this connection to be a deep love. But I'm picking it up that it's the other way around. Okay, but just know that it could go either way. Okay, I'm picking up that it's a it's a deep love and um, you could be falling in love and you got a lot of anxiety over it. And uh, so just know it could go either way. Okay, I just wanted to give you another scenario. Now let's take a look at how you see your person. You see them as the Empress, and you also see them as the Three of Cups. Now, the Empress does not play by the rules. You see how pretty she is up there, this green lady? She doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own ideal, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, that doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. This can, fig this can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because there's many types of wealth and riches, and we all know money is only one of them. And the Empress, let me tell you, this Empress here, she can encompass any or all of them. So this is how, one of the ways you see your person. You see them as, yeah, with this empress here, a deep love. There's a deep love there. So you also see them as a three of cups. Now, the three of cups, it's a beautiful card in the tarot. I just love this picture. Um, yeah, these three people jumping up and down. They're, they're so happy. And they're toasting their champagne or wine or whatever. Jumping up. They're so happy that they don't even realize they're about to jump into a lake. So they don't care. They're just rejoicing, you know? So this Three of Cups, it's a card about reunions. Now, it could be a type of reunion. It could be a romantic reunion. It could be a re reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting with purposefully someone or something that's been away from you for some time. Now this is considered to be a happy reunion, very upbeat, like I said, very happy. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating around a new baby, wedding, or some type of happy occasion. So... This is another way you see a person. Like I said, the Empress and this Three of Cups. Now, these, with these two cards paired together, there's a deep love in this connection. That's what the Empress is. Um, the relationship becomes sweeter, deeper, and more true under the Empress, okay? And because it's with this Three of Cups, Three of Cups, um, just to 
tell you a little bit more about it. Like I said, it's about a reunion. Someone from your past could be returning. Or you could be dealing with a past person. And you guys are really happy. Because there's a deep love there. And you two just like celebrating together. Yeah, so this is how you see them. You see them as... Something that's becoming deeper, sweeter. And it's just a happy, happy reunion. A happy coming together. Or you're just happy every time you see this person. Yeah. Like I said, it could be a past person. The Stir of Cups is about someone from your past and now you're celebrating. So let's take a look at why this is happening. Now, it's happening because of the King of Wands and it's with the Moon card. Now, the King of Wands is about a man who serves as a mentor for you. It's a very positive energy. If this does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that men around you, they are supportive and think really well of you. And you'll be feeling ambitious and goal-oriented. And you'll have the will to accomplish what you have in mind. So, it's paired with this moon card. Now, the moon card, you might be feeling is psychic and intuitive. So, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but... It's going to be helpful for you to realize that it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. Yeah, so why it's happening is because you got this... Um, you got someone that has very caring and protective feelings about you with this King of Wands there. Very, they want to protect you and they care a lot about you. Or this could be you, Leo. Okay. But with the moon card here, there's some mistrust and feelings of deception or deceit. You could be feeling like someone is wearing a mask or not saying how they they feel. So overall for this reading, for the present time, you got that beautiful Nine of Cups there, um, which is a wish card. You got to feel like things are happening for you, a lot of great things. And it's going to make you want to be more true to yourself, be more true to to the people you know, walk the walk and talk the talk. But your person is seeing you with anxiety about this wonderful love that you got going on in this connection. Okay? And you see them as a deep love, possibly having a deep love for you. And you do you guys do a lot of celebrating or they want to celebrate and rejoice with you. Could be a past person, or maybe it's someone from your past coming in. It could be coming back, because that's what the Three of Cups is about. So that's how you see them. You could see them as someone from your past coming, wanting to come back in, and you know there's a deep love there. So it could go a few ways, okay? And why it's happening, because this person has a lot of caring and protective feelings, for you or you them and I'm picking up that it's both ways because how you see them and how they see you is really great but at times you could feel like you could feel a, a couple of ways you could feel like this person 
sometimes wear a mask and they're not really telling you or saying how they feel there could be some deception there or you could feel like your intuition and your instincts are on point about this connection and so it could go either way your intuition is really high uh, this, you know that this person has caring feelings for you and it's a great connection because they got a deep love for you and you got this lover's card it's causing you a little bit a little bit of anxiety it could be because you're afraid of some deception maybe you like i said you feel like this person is wearing a mask sometimes so that's what could be causing this anxiety that we talked about for how they see you you you